<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? What's up, homeboys and homegirls? This is attorney Michael Eli. And as you know, I am an attorney licensed to practice law in Texas and California. But I've been doing some cool videos the last couple of weeks about soliciting a trespass because in law school, they teach you about soliciting a trespass and it's a specific intent crime, but it's generally taught in all law schools. And so it's a common law crime and not all states have the same exact statute or code or even common law under their playing from desktop via. Yeah. Yeah. And by the way, I got uh, BZ watchdog with me today. BZ talk to us, buddy. Mess with the bull, you get the horns. <laughs> Love these guys. That message yeah. was from Herb. Get it? And it looks like I got Herb. the freaking doggone American Texan. Oh, hey! the American hero. You got dang right, boy. I'll tell you what. You guys better strap it on tonight. <laughs> you better strap it on because immediately after this live stream in about an hour, we got a. A dirty, pervy news report going on with our dirty, pervy cop. And even the Amer even the American Texan, he kind of agrees that something's a little uh, up to no good in that uh, drug interdiction pretextual stop. Oh, ooh, wait, wait. I can stream this to my audience now. I've been jacking with this, trying to get it set up. And I think I can only, since I'm not paying for it, I can only stream to... YouTube. What's the title today, Mike? Well, this one today is a little bit different. Um, I'm just trying to... This one has to do with a uh, Nevada statute and whether or not it, it's, it's subsumed by solicitation. I just get knocked off all the time. Can you hear me now? Oh, there you are. Hello, what Mark. is this, a Verizon phone call? Hey, American Texan, man, you look like you leaned out since last time I saw you. That's a sign of stress. Called Talk Barbie. To oh, not for me, actually. It's that's it's a sign of well, there was some stress, but for me, it's it's healthy. Otherwise, I eat my feelings. So I know I, right. I bulked up. I bulked up. <laughs> you had a lot of feelings. I see that. I had a lot of calories. Absolutely. <laughs> I love it. Those right there will kill you. Right there. Only got 150 calories per can. It's, not, it's the sugar, buddy. It's the sugar. It'll kill you. I know. I'm bulking up on the sugar. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're basically discussing definitions today then, right? I mean, we're trying to discern whether or not things are the same in other states. Well, it's kind of weird. So I had a situation. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of funny. So, it's called a. Uh, it's it's. We're about to pull a merb right here. <laughs> so here's so here's the deal. Oh, so man. so there's this guy. He just hates chili for whatever reason, and apparently he was able to pass the bar exam or whatever state that he lives in. And I'm happy for him to be honest. And I actually invited this fellow to a debate with me, and. Uh, he, he declined. He just, he chose to engage in the whole ad hominis attack, thing, <laughs> which is kind of normal, you know, but as you know, I mean, here we are uh, BZ. I've got a, a former law enforcement officer in my stream. And that's because I believe that everybody deserves to tell their side of the story. And I was hoping that this guy would tell his side of the story, but he didn't want to. And, uh, and he looked like he was probably a Mennonite or an Amish, which automatically makes him somebody that I would naturally want to help because especially the Amish, because they're the ones that fought back the hardest against the Rockefeller I mean, in the Rothschild. Yeah, but how is he fighting with you on his computer? What's that? I said if he's Amish, how is he fighting with you on his computer? Or do they just do phones? Well, I don't know, man, they have a lot of Amish in Texas. Could be Mennonite, could be Mennonite. I mean, they're, I don't they're know. All, they're they're all like in, dude, they're all in Fredericksburg. Oh, <laughs> all right. Tell well, I, do. I know. I was just kidding. If yeah, it's, so that's Pennsylvania, right? 
Pennsylvania yeah, Dutch. Yep. Yeah. It's one of the easiest bars in the country. Oh, Sorry. man. You, did you really have to go there and pull the murder? Well, I'm just... <laughs> Wait, can, I can mean, I when, take when somebody... Go ahead. Can I take it without any prior experience? Yeah. yeah. Well, I okay. mean, most, most cops in Texas could probably pass it on the first try. <laughs> that's All how right. easy yeah. it is. That's, that's... But could you do it? Oh, I could pass it without being a cop. Doesn't take any rocket science. I thought we were talking about being a lawyer. Those are definitely no, not rocket fuel. No, no, no. We're talking about the easiest place in the union, Pennsylvania, to become an attorney. <laughs> no, that's we're talking, about, no, we're Wisconsin talking about any Texas Denver. cops could become a lawyer in Pennsylvania because they're as dumb as rocks. Wisconsin's easier to know what I'm kidding. You know, I mean, than yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah. Don't I don't want to be a lawyer. Like, <laughs> I, no, I've dealt with enough of them. That's, that's what always amazes me in politics because everybody's like, oh, well, uh, it's, they're a lawyer. Of course they'd be a good politician. No, no. I've, <laughs> I've met a lot of lawyers. Uh, they are not all fit for office for many reasons. But, yeah. Okay, so. Stay on top Mike. Hey, BZ, look, you're looking squared away with that cover, man. Give Try some, to, man. Try give to. me some push-ups right you freaking gotta, now. You got to move Ryan off the screen because he's like hurry up. in my space here. You're going too freaking slow there, you. Hurry up. Hurry up. Uh. Hold on. Hold on. Two fingers. <laughs> <laughs> you got to get that fingers. thumb tuck. Get that thumb tuck, man. Get that thumb tuck. Arr, Cal. I love that shit, man. That motivates me. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So we... So we're seven minutes in, all right. So, and we've got nowhere still. No, we're actually having a good time. <laughs> so, so let me dissuade you guys from some things. Number one, I didn't come on YouTube because I'm trying to make money. <laughs> Sorry, somebody <laughs> told me they wanted more knife hands. <laughs> but I, but I do like the knife hands. No, no. So just so everybody understands what's going on. So, so a guy who I've helped out in several matters got thrown in jail and because of my background being a jarhead and loving the constitution and the bill of rights i decided i would help this guy out i was never expecting uh merb and all of his friends to send people to my workplace uh to see if i'm on the official list <laughs> which you i what? purposely didn't pay for because i didn't want to pay to be on the list right so so when so at my building, like one of the buildings that we're in, they have a. Uh, if you if you pay them an extra hundred bucks a month, you can be on their main list. Where if someone shows up, oh yeah, whatever. But but no, we we as a general rule, um, we'll send someone to your house. Um, we're in the process of actually relocating. Just so you, you know, uh, American Texan and BZ. Because of all the homeless people in downtown Los Angeles, <laughs> so when the females, especially the females, show up to my to my uh, office, immediately they're accosted. Thank you, Gavin Newsom, by the way, for destroying California and forcing me to move my family into a, a state where I can protect my kids. Thank you very much. But no, in uh, in Nevada, I'm sorry, in California, if if you show up in front of my office or the current office that we have for the firm that I work for, you'll immediately have a homeless person walk up to your car and say, if you pay me $5, I'll make sure that nobody keys your car. Yeah. You like that BZ? I'll make sure that no one keys your car. So that's what we're dealing with. And so me as a lawyer, if I I'll make those, sure nobody does it. Yeah. I'll make sure. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, and so what that does is that gives me what's called constructive notice especially the females, because I still believe that women are born physically weaker than men based on my experience, knowledge, and skill. Okay, Joey. And, yeah, I'm not going to let a physically weaker person show up to my office and get attacked by someone who's telling her uh, all he's got, all she has to do is pay him $5 to protect her car. That's not going to happen because if something does happen to her, I can be sued. So we're in the process of getting out of DTLA, but Wait, That's long <laughs> with billing so billing is something that you do if you're doing work comp or um family law so 
I used to do family law when I first started practicing law. And, and that is basically like, well, it's, it's good money, but the problem is, is you're helping someone destroy their family. And Fry says, what if she's beating you though? So I reached out to him. I said, Hey bro, let's have a debate. But he doesn't want to debate me. He wants to personally attack me and send people to my workplace to try and destroy my business. What, what I'm looking to do is, especially new lawyers who believe in the constitution, the bill of rights, especially when I see a dude who's got like a beard like that. Cause I automatically, I assume Mennonite he's on my team, right? I automatically assume this guy's a Mennonite. He's probably a Amish. This is somebody that should be on my team, but the guy hates chili. I get it. Right. Chili's Jewish. He's not a Mennonite. He's very opinionated. I don't give an F man because I don't really care about, all the, the nuances, what I care about is, do you care about your country? So anyways, if you care about your country, you care about America, then you're on my team. So I always wanted to get him to debate with me and talk to me, but apparently he really hates Chile. And because he hates Chile, I guess by extension, he hates me and that's fine. But what I, what I will not allow is the constant nonsense. Like, so this guy is saying, that I'm not a lawyer or that I didn't uh, go to law school and all these other things, which are just lies. And he's published that, which is, which is actually a tort. It's actually libel, defaming. slander, defamation. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was just saying defaming. Like you just said defamation. Yeah. Well, 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 he likes to make a, he likes to point out that it's different if it's spoken or written, but when you're talking on your video, that's defamation. That's, Right. So if it's written, it's different than <laughs> anyways, I get it. He likes to prove how intelligent he is and that's great. Um, but my goal here isn't to try and um, cause some kind of a problem. My goal is to educate people. And I never really made a lot of money um, by arguing with people <laughs> online. <laughs> but I have this really cool uh, video setup that I did. And I want to share it with you guys. So we'll just go through it and hopefully I can find everything that I uh, tried to share. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Yeah. So basically what happened is, is I was doing a, a research project for Chile and I looked up soliciting a trespass. And I saw that this guy named Merb said that it's impossible for cops to solicit a trespass, which I know is not true. And so I went ahead and I pointed out that in law school that they literally teach you that they teach you the law of solicitation, the common law of solicitation. Sorry, guys. And because of that, as a result of that, he wasn't too thrilled about that because he had a video that he put up that said it's impossible for the police to commit a solicitation. So let us get into it really quick because I want to help you guys understand what's going on. But the bottom line is, is I did a discussion because I'm trying to teach people how to become lawyers without mm -hmm. law school. You follow me so far? Yep. I'm hoping you guys understand. So I'm trying to teach people how to become lawyers without law school. As a result, I started doing these research projects and I saw that this guy did a video saying that it's not a crime for cops to solicit a trespass. <laughs> That's literally the name of his... Uh, video what well, let's let's let me let me get something clear we're talking about soliciting a trespass right yes well if he was a good lawyer he would know the difference between soliciting and eliciting eliciting a trespass is what i've been saying lately because you know i, I know you broke out the definition of solicitation of a of a crime or in this case trespassing and gave examples um per the legal jargon so I am now using the word elicit because that's to actually gain the actual response, which is usually what we get in trouble for. Either way, it's fine. I, no, it's not. It's not interchangeable. Soliciting is asking. 
eliciting is getting results. Okay, fair enough. I, I guess the point that the point that I'm trying yeah. to make is <laughs> Did I confuse you because I was trying to. The, no, the, the, I mean that's that's right though, technically. Because a cop doesn't solicit a tra- he elicits a trespass, but could. Elic- eliciting's not a crime. Well, it depends. And so it looks like uh, what what Merb said is that it's not a crime. It looks like what he's saying is that it's not a crime for the police to solicit a trespass. And I'm saying, of course it is. If the police uh, illegally solicit a trespass, then it's illegal. And I never made any comments about other states or anything like that. I pointed out in my videos uh, that... This is a common law crime, and it's what they teach you in law school. So he got really upset um, in this video uh, that I pointed out that it's, yes, it is a crime for police to solicit a trespass. And, of course, his counter argument was that, yeah, well, but it's almost impossible. But, yeah, that's not the point. The point is, is that, yes, police can definitely solicit a trespass. So we'll just get into it really quick. I was going to play you his videos. Let me see if I can um, really quick, just, I, I want to have, I, I, I want you guys to kind of understand, because I kind of feel bad for his audience. because he, Apparently he just passed the bar and he's doing family law, which I used to do when I first passed the bar as well, which is basically administrative law. There's not a whole lot of litigation. I would say the difficulty level compared to family law or, Work comp is about a two on a scale of one to a thousand. Uh, personal injury law, complex litigation is very difficult because we get hit constantly with motions, discovery, expert witnesses. Uh, it's a nightmare and it's a very, very difficult practice to excel in. So when I see his videos where he trash talking personal injury attorneys saying that we're, I guess, ambulance chasers, it kind of blows my mind. Because it's clear to me that he has zero experience as a lawyer. But I want to go ahead and let him talk because he represents the the side of people who allegedly don't support the deep state, but they hate Chile. I guess he's an anti-cop watch frauditor guy. I want you to see what he says because he's wrong and so is the other side. But I want you to see what he has got to say so you can kind of see what I'm having to deal with because I've got to take all these lemons and turn them into lemonade so people understand their rights. So here we go. Charged with it. Now you might say that the cops should be. Okay. I can't argue with that. That's your opinion. But as a matter of practicality, no, cops don't get charged with it. Um, that's the problem right there, isn't it? You can't show one. He didn't show one. He read something that somebody wrote. It was basically an argument on why they should be. All right. So you kind of see he's saying – there's no such thing as soliciting a trespass for a cop because otherwise cops would get charged with that. Well, as a lawyer, I like to do research. I, I don't th- I don't even know that there is a federal crime called soliciting a trespass. But today, what we're going to do is I'm going to explain to you what soliciting is. All right. So you kind of get the idea because I, I want to burn through this pretty quick. So I'm hoping that having a former law enforcement officer as well as an auditor on the channel can sort of help us understand what's going on. So number one, video saying, well, you can't prove that uh, it happened in Texas or that it happened in in Nevada or whatever. And, and so I just want you all to know something. So I did a video that was based upon traditional solicitation of a trespass, which is what they teach you in law school. And I actually put in the video itself, this is what's going to really blow you guys away. Hold on, let me try to find this video. Hopefully you can watch. So just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me. So I did this video. Uh (coughs) Sorry, it's perfect. You're motivating me. Yeah, you're motivating me right now. And it says right here. Right here. Can you see this, guys? Can you see that? Maybe with a magnifying glass. (laughs) 
Dude, you are such a punk, man. Are you coming to the? <laughs> are you coming to the uh, event? In uh, I, I don't know, man. I I might not be, but I, I'm you sitting got, here you, you got to show up, Max, because we got to we got to do some grappling. Did you just call me Max? What I said, man. No, you called me Max, fool. What the hell? What you talking about, fool? Why you keep thinking about little boys? What? Oh, dude, that's disgusting. Hold on, I put this in here. Hopefully, you guys can see this. At least if you're gonna be thinking of me, think of a grown man. Hopefully, you can see this bad chicken. Are you seeing this, or what's going on? Can you go? Can you go to it's just showing it that it's just saying that you're saying that look at your own state, right? That's what it looks like at the end. Well, I I have a highlight that it says a disclaimer. Michael Eline discusses the general legal principles taught in U.S. law schools. Do you see that? Mm-hmm. All right. So I just want you to see that because this this kid is saying that I'm saying that that applies to every single state. And I'm just like, what, where is he coming up with this stuff? I mean, it's one thing to like be an experienced attorney and know what you're talking about. But like I'm, I'm applying general legal principles that your law professor would teach you and solicitation of a of a crime is law school 101. It's part of what they would teach you in basic criminal law. So I just want you guys to see that. I just want to make sure that everybody sees that. That's all. So the next one is, so you see in my disclaimer right there, it says I'm discussing general legal principles taught in the U S law schools for dummies. Do you see that? Let me know that if, if you see that, because I want to, I want to oh, move forward. It. Okay, got it. Okay, great. So, right there, you can see that I'm telling that this Mennonite or whoever he is, that this is what they teach you in law school, and allegedly this guy went to a law school. Now, if he went to a law school in Pennsylvania or Wisconsin, I understand how he passed the bar exam. They're probably the two easiest bar exams in the country. And I appreciate that. But if he wants to trash talk me and tell people who I know are in his group um, <laughs> and show me screenshots of him trying to attack my personal experience as a lawyer of over 20 years or with at least 20 years experience, uh, then clearly I'm going to defend myself. And so We'll just go ahead and watch one of his videos about him saying that I say stupid and wrong things. But the first thing I want you to make sure that you make sure you see this, and we'll go ahead and play this bad chicken, as Chili would say. Tuesday, I just recorded a video on this, and and I decided not to put it up because I get a little heated. Um, it frustrates me that there are so many attorneys out there who are more concerned about their their appearance, their public perception than about doing what's right, not just for the community at large, but you know, for potential clients. Giving out bad advice, saying stupid shit, saying stupid shit like, uh, yes, it is a crime to solicit, it is a crime to solicit the crime of trespass or soliciting any crime, including trespass is a crime. I believe that our, our, our dear friend, Michael Eline, the, uh, the, but, but that is what they teach you in, in law school. Just so you guys know, like soliciting a trespass is a common law crime. Soliciting any crime is a common law. Crime. So based upon the evidence that I have, it looks like this guy is incapable of having a normal debate with someone. So we'll just keep going. The all hat, no cattle. Um, as Josh Stone Vet likes to call him, boot. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Hold on. This is really hilarious. So I just want to throw something out there. So BZ Watchdog, you're a, a former force reconnaissance Marine. And this guy's never served in the military at all, let alone made it through boot camp. And he has some guy who, who apparently was a reservist who allegedly was a reconnaissance Marine telling him, that I'm a boot. So BZ, I'm going to be in Houston, Texas tomorrow with about 300 Marines. 
I would love it if you would ask his friend and him to come and join us. Could you do that for us? That's cool. And whose friend? Well, apparently he has some friend who is a former uh, reservist who allegedly was a reconnaissance Marine who has told him that I'm a boot. And and and, and look, oh, let me stop you there. Let I'm not going to. De- I'm not going to deny that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to deny that I'm a boot. Stop you. Let me stop right. you there. Right. There is no such thing as a reservist force recon marine because they have to stay operational. They have to stay out in the fleet and maintain. So if he's a reservist, that means he either had to change his MOS or he was never in recon. Well, it, it is funny because, like, in his video, he says that he was Motor T, and then he says he was recon. So, and this is one of these guys. Who now, now he could have been—he could have been the Motor T driving the recon guys around. That's what I was thinking too. Yeah. In yeah. other words, he was an Uber for the, for us recon guys. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking, but he but he literally says that he was Uber, a Uber. Uber. But I did reach out to our friend. Uh, I'm not going to name his name, but I, I I'm very connected in the Navy SEAL in Marine force reconnaissance community. And uh, I reached out to someone who all of you guys know, if you're even semi involved in the Marine Corps community, and I'm waiting for word back to see if this guy actually was even in force reconnaissance. But I specifically pointed out on my channel that there's no stolen Valley here, stolen Valley here. I'm just a typical O3, which by the way, it does not mean infantry. It means rifleman. So I was, what's that? A ground pounder. Well, hey, rifle no, pounder. no, 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 no. He's right. Any type of grunt is considered a ground pounder. Ryan's got it right. Oh, 300. Now I'm going to tell you right now, now, look, I actually got accused by one person out of everybody in my comment section of stolen valor. So tonight when I premiere my video, it yes, actually sir. has my boot camp picture in my dress blues. So they can go stick it. Outstanding. It just blows me away, BZ, that these these civilian slime scum pieces of garbage. Easy, be easy on Ryan there. Be easy on Ryan. Well, who 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 wouldn't even like stand a chance against us in a real fight? Uh, they'll drop bombs on us from far away and get all their short bus people. They're, they're uh, called the they're called the Air Force, dude. Oh, Chair Force, right? To come on and and talk trash on us, but but the bottom oh. line is oh. is. That, this <laughs> you guys are killing me, man. The bottom line is I'm literally with to... the knife hands. Uh, arr, arr, knife hands there, you arr. delete laws, delete laws. We don't need more laws, we need less laws, homeboys. I agree. Elon Musk Elon Musk says it all the time. We live in a land of too many laws. Oh, he's right, man. He's absolutely right, guys. I got I got one for you, Mike. Yeah, I don't yeah. I don't think cops should work Rex. Why is that? Because right. hellos for suckers. Why? Why are there? Why? Yes, because of those for suckers. <laughs> because why do we write the, the crash report, the whole thing, the drawing, the yarn mark? Why do we do that? Why do we do all that? CYA. Nope. For insurance companies. Every single one of those pages is for an insurance company. If insurance companies need that kind of detail, they can come down and they can have somebody in every single police department. We'll stop traffic. You can do your recreation and then we'll be on our merry way because that's not law enforcement. I agree with you. Somebody civil do that crap. There's a lot of stuff we shouldn't do. I agree with you. Feelings enforcement. Hey guys, I want you to, uh, man, for some reason, I can't figure out how to shrink this damn thing. So I blew up the uh, images and now I can't get them down. You know, that's the perfect like freeze frame of Merv right there. And because I have insiders, I have all their screenshots. I know that they've sent people to my law firm. Place of work. He's inciting, he's in, he's inciting harassment. Yep. It's kind of weird. I, I Look, I, you know, my wife and I pray for people like him every day. And and we pray, pray what pray that he burns in hell? Absolutely not, because oh, um, based upon one of his videos, he said that he was in the auditor community, and so for me, being someone who's been arrested for 
for doing the very same types of things, you know, over 20 years ago, I, I was hoping that he would be somebody who would be helpful in holding the government accountable, but it seems like he's more interested in trying to destroy Chile and people who support Chile than he is in supporting the constitution. And that kind of bothers me. So uh, the fact that the fact that he's, go ahead. Right. What's it's that? Kind of weird. It's kind of weird, kind of neurotic, kind of like, who does that? Who's who takes that much time out of their life to do damage to somebody they've never met, probably don't live near. Bingo, thank you. We call him 1096. You're not allowed to say that anymore. Crazy. <laughs> that's, that's why I was doing this. Crazy. That's why I was doing this. I know you're a concealed carry holder. I would keep one near me because that kind of person is crazy. Well, I, I open carry, so I, I don't really, and it doesn't bother me. I'm a judoka, so like, it, so okay, honestly, like, so my, my first thought was let's do trial by battle, you know, because I'm a historian, a legal historian, like, I mean, this guy, trial by battle, but he won't even know, have he looks a, like he's thrown some hay bales. Well, yeah, that's probably true. Yeah, he's probably pretty, you know what, you, you know what, you're right. He probably is pretty strong. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm probably overestimating myself because, like he I'm said, not, no, 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 because no, skill, skill and size are two different things. Well, I'm but, I'm a, say but I'm, but I'm, a, a but I'm, but he, but he said that I'm a pipsqueak, so that means that he thinks he can take me, right? <laughs> right. So. All right. Well, yeah. All right. So I'm just saying, like you know, I, I'm yeah. down to fight because that's my mentality. But do we uh, can sell tickets? Wait, I, I, that's what I'm thinking. Two like lawyer, two yeah. lawyers. In the head, dude. Let's do it for charity. We should. I mean, all look. So, Merb, let's do this, brother. And and I'm sorry that I called you brother because I know you hate chili, so you assume that anybody who supports the Constitution with Michael Elon goes for, for you, brother. Hey, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> but I'm just telling you right now, guys. We we can we can put an end to this right now. We can go back to traditional common law. We can do a trial by battle and, you know, winner takes all. You Pizzle can walk sticks. away with. Pizzle sticks. Yeah. Yeah. So Merb can walk away with his beard and his, uh, and his integrity intact. And if this pip squeak uh, can't beat him, then that's fine. Be because so far he has not been able to have an intellectual debate. It's just been ad hominis attacks. So we'll just go ahead. Just tell me, guys. Can can you can you hear and watch this? Do you see this? Have you ever seen someone cite an unpublished case? That? Absolutely. Go watch any of the videos that I've done where I've gone through any of the pleadings on uh, James Freeman's case. You seeing that, guys? In New Mexico. Oh, he's picking on Chile's James Freeman in Nevada. Floyd Chile. Wallace's case in Nevada. Chili's case in Ohio. Uh, Chili's case in uh, Massachusetts against Kate and Josh Abrams. Unpublished decisions were cited left, right, and center. Unpublished district court cases where all you have is a Lex. So, really quick. So, hold on a minute. So, so apparently he's really upset at me. Can you guys see me, by the way? I don't know. Yeah, we can see it. All right. Unfortunately. So, apparently he's really upset at me because I pointed out that citing depublished cases is like the last resort. It's like the bottom of the slime pit. And I see that a lot of these, uh, you know, uh, sovereign guys or whatever, they, they, they cite cases from different states or depublish cases all the time. So I just Black pointed style. out that, right, right, just bullshit cases that don't even apply to your state. So I pointed that out and he got really upset about that because apparently – uh, briefs that he has prepared in the past cite a bunch of bullshit case law. I, I don't. I don't know. I, I don't really know what's going on, guys. I just pointed out that this gentleman uh, 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 made a statement that cops can't commit a solicitation. So basically, I don't know if you can. You see this. Can you see yep. that, guys? Yeah, okay. we can see it. We can see all it. All right. So we're <laughs> – I don't have a whole lot of time to play all of his videos and stuff, but this guy <clears throat> did a video that said it's not a crime for cops to solicit a trespass. 
So I went ahead and I produced a video that said, well, in law school, they teach you that soliciting a trespass is a crime. And it's a, it's a general uh, philosophy that they teach all law students throughout the country. It's what they teach you in law school. And apparently this guy went to a law school. And so the bottom line is, is in order to, uh, to engage in a solicitation of a crime, you don't have to take any action to commit the crime. So if a law enforcement officer walks up to your house, they don't like you, and they see your ex-girlfriend outside, and they say to her, hey, you used to live here. Why don't you kick his door down, and you know, then we'll go ahead and arrest him, and you can get your shit. Well, guess what? If that happens... <clears throat> that would be a common law solicitation of a crime. That's what they teach you in law school. So assuming he went to law school, he'd already know that, but apparently he doesn't. All right, so, I got a question though. Go for it. Okay, you said used to live. Now, not saying I've seen this before. Um, say that he just kicked her out and she does still live there and he doesn't have a right to have her locked out. Um, Established residence. Established residency is different. Right, right. No, no, right. No, no, so no, when no, the cop no. says, well, because this is my question for you, because when the cop says, that's your door, you break it down. And then we can go arrest him with you. It'll be fun. Is that the same thing? Because it's her well, door then. It's a good question. And of course, it's a civil matter because the officer does not have that's the legal. Problem. The that's officer. established residency, and she's technically breaking down her door to her own home. That is not him soliciting a crime because she lives there. She's established residency. Well, that's fair. You only that have is... to sleep there one night to establish residency. Depends on the state. But, Depends on the state. But law enforcement does not have the legal authority to make that decision, unfortunately. No, no, no. They can't say we right. give you permission. They can't say you have authority to knock down your own door either. They cannot solicit or encourage her to do they that. They can throw a hypothetical. I've got some lieutenants that I would love for you to talk to, Mike. <laughs> I want that. That's what I'm hoping for. It, it, as, as long as your lieutenants don't try to say that, but don't Mike, try to send people to my Mike, law office. And let's try look to, at yeah, this. Right? Mike, let's look at this. Want to have a debate. Let's, yeah. let's look at this from a legal perspective. They can sit there and say, well, if I was you and I lived there, I would just knock down my own door to go inside. Now, at that point, they haven't given them permission. They haven't solicited a trap. All they've done is given a hypothetical idea. Well, as long as the police didn't encourage or try and tell the person that they had the, the illegal authority to do that, then the law enforcement would be off the hook. But that's not what happened in the example that I provided for Merb and other people. This was an example that was provided by civil rights lawyer where a female cop encouraged and tried to convince a female who alleged, allegedly lived in that same house to knock the door down. And she went ahead and knocked the door down because she believed she had legal authority to do so because a JBTP, according to Chile anyways, encouraged her to kick the door in. And so, yeah, so because of that, that that's a problem. And anybody who watched one Adam 12 when they were kids would know that it's a civil matter. It's very simple. It's a civil matter. You go to a judge and then a judge issues a writ or does something in order to go ahead and get the woman into the home to get her stuff. But that's not what happened here. We had a female cop who decided she would go ahead and convince the woman to kick the door in, encouraged her to do so, and formed an agreement to kick the door in. Whoa, right? Chevy, with that $50 super chat. There you go. Oh, wow. Well, it's about time. Thanks, Chevy. Because, Chevy, it's been a long time, man. I'm still I've been waiting on my royalties from the last five super chats. Man, I've been dealing. And by the way, guys, oh. I still I still owe. I still owe. I still owe, and, and I haven't forgotten. I still owe BZ as well as Texas cops some money from the last super chat. Oh no, no, no. I take I'm gonna take it out on your on your ass with legal counsel. So don't, don't do that, man, because uh, I wanna I, I, I wanna I, use mine for bets on the I, fight I, between you and okay. Murph. 
I already have a hernia, BZ. I can't handle that. <laughs> what? Hey, I'm talking. I'm talking about legal counsel, man. I'm you know joking what? with you, brother. <laughs> Trying to give you a hope. So, so Steve Z says that I'm misre misrepresenting the video. I appreciate that. Thanks, Steve Z, because Premier that's all. That, minutes. Because that's all that Merb has done the entire time is misrepresent everything that I've ever said. So, so basically. So I just want you guys to like, hear me out. So if somebody tells you that police office, so let's go back. Let's look at what they actually said. So read for yourself. It's not a crime for cops to solicit a trespass. All right. Read that. So what I, mean, I did, it, that's, that's false. It's clearly false. So it's what I not did. Prosecuted. Well, it's not a crime for cops to solicit a trespass. It's a crime for anyone to solicit a trespass. Now, the only difference is cops have qualified immunity. To well, out. well, that that might be true, but the <laughs> the point that I'm trying to <laughs> the point that I'm trying to make is this guy said on his video right there in big blue, whatever, black and white. It's not a crime for cops to solicit a trespass. That's not true. That's false. So rather than debate me or try to have a conversation, this guy wants to try and destroy my law practice, wants to trash talk me, tell me how he's had all this experience as a family law attorney and somehow that qualifies him to talk. And, and I'm totally OK with that because I used to do family law and it's basically administrative law. It's very similar to work comp. But then the guy says. Well, even though this guy's brought in like over $150 million in verdicts and settlements, it really wasn't him. It was probably just some other guys uh, that worked under him or something. And it's just like the problem that I have with all these guys, the anti-Chile crew, is they can't actually have a debate on the issues. They're, they're more into the ad hominis, personal attacks and insults, and they don't want to do anything to try and support their point of view. And so for me, guys, both of you guys, just like, hear me out. Like, if you can prove me wrong, I'm the first guy who's going to say, you know what? Maybe I was wrong. But to try and double down when you clearly have no fucking idea what you're talking about, dude, go fuck yourself. But anyways, let's go ahead and take a look more at what this asshole is trying to say. He's trying to say that, that uh, solicit. Okay, so the bottom line is that solicitation is a common law crime. And this is what they teach you in school. This is what they teach you in law school. Solicitation is a common law offense, all right? And when you solicit someone to engage in a crime, that's crime one. If they carry out the crime, that's crime two. And so that would be very close to what we call conspiracy, all right? So just follow me, guys. Just follow me. Because I, I haven't said... Anything other than that in, in law school, solicitation is a crime. All right, so let's just keep going. Now, he also said that there's no such thing as a federal trespass. And, you know, I, I, I never said that there was such thing as a, as a federal trespass or a soliciting a federal trespass or that there was a such thing as any of this stuff. All I pointed out is that in law school, they teach you that. And by the way, let me really quick just show you guys exactly what I'm talking about, because I understand. So BZ pointed out to me, hey, man, this dude's trash talking you and you're losing your audience because these guys uh, believe this this Mennonite or whoever he is. And by the way, guys, I love Mennonites. I mean, I was hoping that I would found an ally. Imagine how disappointing this is for me. Right. But if you take a really quick look, if you take a really quick look, I just want to try and help you guys understand what's going on here. Because this is really disappointing. Because for me, having practiced law for so long, I'm really praying to God that we can find someone who supports the Bill of Rights and the Constitution to carry this on. So I did find the link that I want, but I'm going to go through this really quick because Merv, this is Merv, a derb, a derb, a derb. A look, look, look in the chat. Oh, I, 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 oh, hey, I, and by the way, I really love it that Brick Jonesy still shows up because 
him and I kind of had a little bit of an argument over illegals who were like sneaking across. And I, I have a problem with that. Like, cause I wouldn't let someone in my home unless I knew who the fuck they were. Uh, and I would never let somebody in my country uh, knowing that they might uh, be a potential threat to my wife or kids. Um, but you know, his position was, well, you know, you can't hold it against them. You know, they're just, they're illegals and they're just trying to form a better life for themselves. You know what? He's right. He's absolutely right. And I never would. And if you guys knew anything about my background or my family or who I married, uh, you would have a totally different perspective on me. And especially, uh, well, a lot of people in this chat, but definitely, definitely Brick Jonesy. <laughs> Brick Jonesy, come and hang out with me anytime, brother. Let's do a barbecue because I think if you met me face to face, you'd understand that I think more like you than, than you know. No, but you don't, is, man. He believes in natural law. Secure your person. freaking Secure your person. And, and, and I love all you guys. And that's the difference. You know, I, I get it. A lot of people really hate Chile. But guess what, guys? I am the truth. I, I believe pretty much in everything that you believe in. The problem is you guys just don't like Chile. And I, if you I really love think, Chile, especially with crackers. Yeah. And if you think that I came on uh, YouTube to try to make money, you're, you're high. I mean, do you think that I like hearing from building security that uh, people are showing up at our building? <laughs> you, you, you think I like that? You know, it's like, really? It, like, I already know what you're doing, dude. I get it. You know, Mike, I, I do have another idea for you, though. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do it. So, you know, you've got those guys down the street that'll that'll accost any female or anybody else that'll come up to your building. Yeah. Yeah. Give so them 10 bucks. Instead of paying LAPD, you tell a couple of those guys, hey, none of these jack wagons show up near my work. <laughs> uh, and at the end of the day, I'll give you 50 bucks. Yeah, I kind of like that, actually. That's kind of cool. Make sure you get a receipt so you can write it off. Amen. <laughs> all right so so the bottom line is i i, I did these i, I just want to uh, get, get you through this really quick guys so in one of his videos be uh this guy says that you can't commit a trespass a felony trespass against property uh, and by the way i just want to i just want to like share this with you guys really quick so i i always tell everyone that I'm sharing general principles of the law. So they'll understand. So in law school, they teach you what is soliciting a trespass, general principles. I'm not trying to tell you that what the Nevada law is, what the Texas law is, but this guy was so angry that I called him out that he immediately did what any housewife would do, which is to redirect. No research because he kept on talking about Texas and Nevada, which made no sense to me because I wasn't talking about Texas or Nevada, but I decided I would go ahead and try to humor you guys uh, because I know that that's what my, what my audience likes. Just sucks. Make me laugh, old man. Make me man, laugh. I was hoping that we could have an ally, right? Right? Like Texas. I was hoping we could have an ally because it's so hard to find people that, that are even somewhat close to our belief system. And it, it's just unbelievable to me. But I was really hoping. Oh, oh BZ's got to go. He's got his premiere to watch. Well, oh, BZ you know what, to... Mike? I think one of these guys is confused. It says you didn't go to law school. Said you said that. It, but what he's? I think he's missed because you took the bar and then went to law school, right? Yeah. So, so that was another. I'm sorry, thing. I pay attention. I, I'm sorry, I pay attention. That's my fault. Well, it's kind of weird. And by the way, everybody, if. Uh, if you love BZ, make sure to join him on his channel. You don't have to stay here. You can always go and watch me later. I, I, I would sure like you to hit that like button before you dip. But uh, yeah, yeah, just support him. He's my brother. Make sure you take care of BZ. I'm gonna and head over guys, there. I'm gonna head over there, Mike. So uh, yes, sir. I'll, I'll, I'll get tell everybody out so that uh, you and my uh, you and Ryan can talk more about this and yes, sir. Up. Copy All that, right, guys. Later. Copy that. So. Just really quick. So what I was trying to do, uh, Texas, is I wanted to have you on to talk about, you know, potentially when a Texas cop or another cop could potentially be in violation of soliciting 
a crime. And obviously, um, you know, soliciting a crime would include trespass because trespass is a crime. You can't solicit a civil offense. So I was kind oh, I of confused. You, I can give you one right now. I can give you I can give you an example right now. Okay, let's do it. Who directs traffic? Who is lawfully allowed to direct traffic in Texas? I don't know. There's only, there's only two people. A, a law enforcement officer or a certified traffic. Uh, I don't even know what they're called. But, you know, the guys in the orange vests with the hats? Yeah. Yeah. Those are the only people, I guess, in crossing guards. Maybe that is the third. But they're the ones they're trained, right? Um, yeah. So if I, as the cop, say, uh, I've stopped traffic and I tell you, to go down two blocks and take a right, and that's on the private property, and I know exactly where I'm sending you. Yeah, I that's exactly what I just did. If I tell you, hey, why don't you go down that entrance right there, and they'll see you at the bottom because I know you're going to get arrested because there's cops down there waiting for you. Or I don't know, there was this um, there was this golfer I heard about last night in Louisville who it's at. Uh, what, what, what's the big open there in uh, Louisville going on right now? Anyways, so yeah, the cop, he's he's in the open, right? He's he's the leader in numbers. Like this is the man, and he goes around cops because he thinks that's where he's supposed to be going. So one of them grab his car, and then uh, then they freaking get drugged by, and then they arrested him for not doing. Because he was doing something he was told to by somebody else. Right. right? They, slapped him, they slapped him with a felony for it. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Dude, so, no, it's not okay. It's yeah. I wanted to talk so much trash, I but but I'm until I see the whole thing and hear the whole thing, I really don't want to, but it doesn't sound good. But that's but those are the kinds of things I'm talking about. I can tell you to go somewhere. And do something, and it's not legal. It's anybody can do it. You can do it in a batch, and that just makes somebody think that they've got more authority. That's right. That so the person in the person, if there's a person in that residence, there is a chance that they could go after that cop for official oppression. Hey, that's an, actually a really great point. By the way, are you going to be there tomorrow at the uh, Conroe? Or are you too far out? I'm going to try. It depends on some things. I got a couple text messages right before this started. So just so everybody knows, try means I won't. Yeah. <laughs> try means I was supposed to go the other direction <laughs> and I forgot I was, that you were going to be in Houston. So, yeah. Hey, do you see this on the uh, slideshow here? The uh, contrast? Yep. Okay. So one of the things that I wanted to point out is that so although this conversation uh, with Merv or whatever was never intended to go outside of general legal principles, and I see that when I call them out on the fact that he said that cops can't solicit a trespass, that he immediately tried to change the topic to something else, which blows my mind. So for me, if somebody called me out and said, hey, Mike, you effed up, I'd be like, Thank you, brother, for calling me out and, and correcting me because Psalms and Proverbs is very important to me. And that when a, a fellow brother calls you out and shows you that you fucked up, it, rather than try and attack them and send people to their place of business to try to destroy their business, maybe it would be better for you to try to engage them in a civil debate. Just think about that, because when you try to mess with people's families, you create another Hatfields and McCoy situation for yourself. And um, it's, it's a very dangerous thing. So it's something you should think about very, very, very succinctly before you do something really, really stupid. And so if you look at the, because there are people that are way crazier than you and uh, not everyone's an alcoholic who doesn't know how to shoot um, or protect themselves. And so you, we can see that, we have a contrast between solicitation and criminal conspiracy. And that in California, or I'm sorry, in Nevada, um, well, it's it's there for, it's there for you on the slideshow. But the bottom line is is that when somebody 
uh, commits a, a conspiracy, typically a criminal conspiracy involves a situation where there's an act in furtherance. And that was the point that I was trying to make is that when you commit an act in furtherance, like buy something, purchase something, do something to try and further the crime, that would be a conspiracy. But in, in Nevada, that has been done away with. There is no act in furtherance requirement. So it's almost the same thing as a solicitation. Now, uh, apparently, Merb, our family law attorney, is harping on the fact that, well, there has to be an agreement first before the person trespasses. And, and that kind of makes sense. But like in, so, like in Virginia, if I'm going to trespass somebody where there's not somebody present, you'd have to have an agreement like that. Well, if you're trespassing someone for trespass, that's different than trespassing someone for soliciting a trespass. Because when you solicit a trespass, you're aiding, counseling, or encouraging someone to trespass on someone's land. But no, but. But now in Nevada, their, their criminal conspiracy statute is very, very close to a common law solicitation. The only difference is, is that it's an agreement. But in the examples that I've shown and the examples that Chile has argued, the officer uh, convinces the other person to trespass uh, the other person. The, the so-called lawbreaker. So let me break it down to you, brother. Or I'll say bro, because apparently uh, this guy doesn't like it when I say bro. So I'll say bro, because I am a surfer. You know, let's face it, I grew up in SoCal. But, but I'm also somebody who is always standing on the side of people who support the Constitution. So that's why I really made a good faith effort to try to build some kind of a relationship with this guy. Because I was thinking, you know, damn, the guy, he looks like a Mennonite. So automatically that makes me like he's on my team. And uh, the fact that he wants to be in law, that makes him on my team. Uh, if he believes in Jesus, he believes in God, that makes him on my team. So I'm thinking this guy's going to be one of my guys, but he just hates Chile so much. He can't stand the idea of, of somebody uh, trying to back up Chile uh, who believes that he was falsely arrested. So anyways, back to what you're talking about. So if you're going to solicit someone to commit a crime, all you have to do is encourage them. If you're going to engage in a conspiracy to get someone to commit a crime, well, in law school, they teach you that you have to have an agreement and you have to have an act in furtherance. So basically what Nevada did is they got rid of the act in furtherance. So really. I, so I've heard that two states have, I think. Yeah, well, several. There's more than that, but. I'm, okay. not gonna get, yeah. I'm not going to get into too much, but yeah, like I have a full team working on this. Like I, I know all the law. I know exactly what's going on. And I just feel bad for guys like this guy because it seems like him and his people should be on our side because, because even you, like you, you went ahead and, and stood against the system and turned in people who were trying to harm the constitution. And, and so well, like, but, and to be clear, to be clear, those are people you can't trust ever. Like, that's why I would never have a business. If you partner. take an oath, if you take an oath and you break your oath, I am not going to trust you behind me with a gun that has been proven time and time again. <laughs> Tillman. Um, yeah. <laughs> that you don't let that happen. That's right, brother. Yeah, that's, that's absolutely right. So, so hopefully everybody's on the same, uh, the same understanding as me. I'm just trying to help you guys get a better understanding of what's going on. Um, I don't know. Can you see? I just did slide four. Do you see what I'm showing you on the screen or no? Yeah. 199.480. Yeah, that didn't show. Comparing to trust common law? Nope. Although in Nevada State Court. See that, right? Yep. All right. So... Well, the bottom line is I'm trying to click on all this stuff, but my screen got blown up, so I, I don't see everything. Um, hold on one second. Okay. So here's how it goes. So tonight, here's what we discussed. We discussed that there is a 
the, what I've been trying to share with all of you guys is the general law school related uh, crime of solicitation. I, I've never been trying to tell you that that it's the same in every state. OK, so whether it's Texas or California, it doesn't matter. In California, having worked for the prosecutor's office in California, I would tell you, you would probably want to look at aiding and abetting as your parallel statute for solicitation of a trespass. It's almost the same thing. Um, now, Ooh, I got a question for you, Mike. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So they're in California and man, people are going to get pissed off at me for asking this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so if you're in California, Nevada, wherever, and you have a police officer do this to you, if they solicit a trespass, they tell you, sir, I'm going to need you to go through those doors right there. And that gets you arrested. So in Virginia, a little back, I'll back up just a little bit. You can go down to the magistrate's office and swear out a warrant as a civilian for a misdemeanor offense. Against the police for soliciting the trespass. So, you, so that's what I'm asking. Can you? Because, I mean, nobody, I've never seen anybody do it. But if you get well, arrested for trespassing and it's because a cop told you to do something, which is kind of what you're getting to in that one video, yeah, right? Yeah. Could he go back, find out who told him to cross that line and get him for soliciting a trespass? Well, it's a good question. So. Thank you, Diesel. I didn't. I, I wasn't sure. I'm going to go down to the magistrate and talk. Yeah, to you. yeah, yeah. And, and I appreciate uh, you talking to people in the sidebar as well, because that's that's our audience, man. Without them, we ain't shit. So we're good. Right on. Yeah. So right what on. you're asking is, yeah, can can you can you solicit a trespass in that situation? It, it, is law enforcement guilty of can soliciting? You, right. Can you get a warrant for soliciting a trespass? Well, or whatever, because it, that charge, it's not a charge in Texas. It's called something else. That's right. But could, I mean, if you tell me to break, I mean, you say there's qualified immunity, but how many people have been taken to court on? Not too many be, because it's very rare. Cause, yeah, because who would do that? That's crazy. I want to see it happen. <laughs> that's right. But so so the question for me as, as a lawyer you know, with over 20 years experience in the law is, is it possible for the police to solicit a trespass? And of course it is. Now, every, every state has their own laws and their own jurisdictional differences. And yeah, maybe Chile was, was not correct about his position on soliciting a trespass, but rather than try and throw him under the bus and trying to destroy him or trying to destroy an attorney who thinks that he was falsely arrested, maybe you should do some legal research. I don't know. I'm just saying, you know. But if you look at, like, what this guy's doing, uh, you know, it's a common law crime, guys. This is what they teach you in law school. And so I teach people how to become a lawyer without law school. And one of the things that I teach is – that you need to learn the basic American and English common law principles. And I also teach the history of law. So I get it. Yeah. Not all the states have adopted exactly the common law because every state is sovereign. Every single state is sovereign. That was the whole point is that we were sovereign from the King. And so we're all going to have our own different versions. And some states may decide, well, we only want to include hookers in the solicitation statute. And so Nevada and California and Texas, statute? what's that? Did you call it a statute? Statute. Oh, okay. I was like, that yeah. sounds like a dirty S-P-A-T-U-T, word. statute. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we no Greek statues here, buddy. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> not in this house. Not in my house. Not around my kids. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Oh, um, what are you in Congress now? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So the, the so soliciting a federal trespass. So so this is the problem that I have with this particular guy and and a lot of the people on YouTube. And I get it. You've never actually met a real lawyer who's tried cases, and you automatically want to try and attack 
their business model and destroy their family because they disagree with you. But instead of doing that, do some legal research, guys, because that's what really matters is what the law, what the law says. And I know that Merb thinks that there's no soliciting a federal trespass crime, but I never said there was a soliciting a federal trespass crime. I even said multiple times in my videos that I don't think there is. What, what I'm trying to point out is that in many states, soliciting a trespass is a crime, not all the states. And, and if it's not a crime in your state, based upon the statutory definition, it could have been changed to something else. For example, conspiracy requires an act in furtherance, but in Nevada, it doesn't. In Nevada, conspiracy does not require an act in, in furtherance. And so, so, brother, I know you live in Texas, and so Merb was really, really quick to point out that he said that you can't solicit a trespass in Texas, and he just like he basically hung himself on his petard. And I, I, I'm just really I, I'm kind of worried about the guy because this is somebody who could really be a benefit and helpful to our community in pushing for individual rights and freedom. But he hates Chile so much that he'd rather try and destroy Chile's lawyers professional law practice than trying to bait just, him. I'm go just ahead, gonna David. say this. How unprofessional is it to go after you like that? I mean, everybody's talking about this guy. He's a professional. He's a lawyer, but he's sent people to your office. He's trashing you on and, and not coming to you face to face. Debate is what our country is founded on. And he won't come talk to you face to face. I really have no respect for the guy. So, I mean. Well, uh, uh, assu assuming we can prove, which I believe we can prove, that he's the one behind this, along with another guy from Iran. Uh, I think that we're in a pretty strong position here. You're pissing but people off overseas. Good job. I, I just I, I feel bad for them because they're people that should be on our side. Because I'm not doing this because I'm trying to make money. Um, I I can make plenty of money on my own with my experience and background without having YouTube, but. Chili and I were in the process of heading down to Uvalde, Texas to help this mother who had her children taken away from her by Child Protective Services. She escaped her handcuffs, hopped a fence, and rescued her kids. And the reply from the administrative state was to take her kids from her. And, and she lives in a garage. And I'm absolutely infuriated. And I wouldn't even be on this channel right now talking to you if Chile hadn't been arrested, because I know that Chile would have brought enough attention to that situation to where I could have raised enough money to get her out of the garage and get her kids back. So all you people who uh, want to prejudge me and tell me that I'm trying to get money, you have no idea what you're talking about. You're just clueless. Um, I, I do fine without you two. In fact, having you guys show up to my office buildings uh, and, and I know who you guys are. I have all the, the text message. I know exactly who is behind this. It just blows my mind that you guys are more concerned about trying to take Chile down than you are about trying to save this country. It's very disappointing to me. Go ahead, brother. I mean, that's, I feel the same way. There's, there's so much more going on there. And that, that makes me feel like there's more going on with that. Individual. Yeah, like people are getting paid, right? They're really getting paid by someone who doesn't like freedom. I, I, I don't. You know, you know why I do this? Because my fiance told me I needed to go find something to do. Right? And she's like, you got to find something to do. And then you were yeah. like, come on my show. And I was like, that's something to do. Like, Good job, honey. Good. That's great. Just go. So that's why I'm here. So I just want to, I just want to share with you, brother. So, this guy says that you can't solicit a trespass in Texas. And here's the law that says that you can. And I know that he's going to come out and say, oh, this, this lawyer, this guy with all this experience, I'm only one year. He's telling me this and that. And he's saying that's that what you. They're, that's what they're getting coyotes with right now. That's it's right. This, this, penal, this penal code right here. That's how they're, that's what they file. And that's how you Simon. get real time for the coyotes. Simon Carnal, pero they're also getting these guys because they're uh, 
these guys are soliciting a trespass. You have law enforcement officers who are encouraging the cartels to trespass. That's called soliciting. You know, a you know what though? There's a whole That's bunch of is. NGOs doing the same thing then. Of course. But they're not law enforcement. So so remember at the very beginning, we started I yeah, just want to law enforcement. But there's the so there's beginning. federal, but but remember there's guys at the border saying, no, come on. Oh yeah, you'll say but this come guy on. So no. under this, you're saying Abbott could have law enforcement arresting federal agents for felonies. They should. They should be. The problem I mean, is. I'm just going to talk. I'm just going to tell Abbott that on on X like 500 times in the next three days. Well, so. a lot of people are saying that Abbott is a WEF guy, so that would. You want me to send it. you the picture of him uh, in their website? Like he is. He's definitely. He's never denounced them. He goes to their meetings. He's definitely a WEF. It's a problem. So so this I is the it. issue that I. So this is the issue that I have with Merv. He made it. He made an affirmative statement that it's not a crime for cops to solicit a trespass, and I prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are many, 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 many factual circumstances where it could be, and he just couldn't get beyond that. And so, rather than debate me, he engaged in ad hominis attacks, and it really bothers me. And and, and look, I'll give him a pass because he's a, he's a new lawyer. He probably went to a very uh, a simp law school, probably one of the easiest bar exams in the nation. We know that California is the hardest. So when someone tries to trash talk me and say, well, you never went to law school, bro. It's like, dude, I passed the hardest bar examination in the country. So give me a little bit of credit. But let's just go through this really quick, the slideshow, man. All right, do it. So, do it. All right. So solicitation is a common law crime. Okay. If you look in the disclaimer of the videos that I do when I talk about teaching people law, I specifically point out that I'm talking about general law in the United States that they would teach you in law school. It's it's right. Just, just click on the videos. Look at the description. So next thing, soliciting a federal trespass. Yeah, you know, it, it may not be, uh, but it is actually a federal crime uh, to solicit a trespass. There is a federal crime called soliciting a trespass. The problem is it only has to do with soliciting a crime on federal property. So you're wrong again, Merb. So, you know, you, dude, you really just need to focus on maybe family law or maybe just like stop talking. Um, the next thing is, yes, yeah, soliciting a trespass in Texas can involve a felony. That's absolutely a fact. By the way, I am actually a, a Texas lawyer and this other guy's not. He's so upset about the fact that I explained that under United States common law principles, a law enforcement officer can, in fact, be guilty of a criminal trespass. So I'm pointing that out. I even include the uh, actual, you know, 3.50 of his video, whatever. The next thing is, although Nevada, although in Nevada State Court, we could not find a law directly on point with respect to an inchoate solicitation, Nevada removed the act in furtherance requirement of a conspiracy. Now, I know that you're a cop. So you probably understand that in a conspiracy, you have to also not only um, form an agreement to commit a crime, but you also have to form an act in furtherance. Now, in a typical solicitation scenario, you basically just convince someone to tread on someone's property. In other words, you form an agreement with them. Hey, go and violate their rights and step on their property and you violate their rights. And that's basically an agreement. Now, if, 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 if the person who's doing the convincing doesn't convince the other person, well, that's not a problem in Nevada because in Nevada, um, the other person, uh, the person who was supposed to carry out the crime does not have to, the person who encouraged them can be also convicted. So, I just want to share with you, you guys. There's no crime. Come in. So if he tells you, even with no there. crime, oh, even okay. with no crime. The, the so so the person that you counseled to commit the crime doesn't have to get charged. So it's very very similar to a solicitation. So that's all I was trying to do is share with y'all that 
although there are no, uh, there are very few states that have the traditional common law solicitations uh, codified, that it's really no different. Um, you know, uh, uh, in law school, they teach you that in order for a conspiracy to take effect, there has to be an act in furtherance to commit that conspiracy. But in Nevada, that has been removed. So when I was working for the prosecutor's office, my, my head counsel would always tell me, look at law school, look at the Barbary books, look at PMBR, look at the common law inchoate crimes. Now try to find a similar statute under our penal code. And so in this particular case, hold on, well, hey, Mike. And, yes. BZ, BZ is backstage somewhere. Stand by, stand by. What yeah, you just sounded like him. <laughs> uh, ten. Huh. Oh, hey, there geez. he is. Arr, arr. I got motivated oh, right now. What's up, BZ? That's for the 10 minutes you've made me sit back here not paying attention. No, dude, I didn't do that on purpose, homeboy. I would never do that to you, boy. Bro, I've been back here 10 minutes. I had to text Ryan. Yeah, I'm sorry. So, no, no, you texted me. I heard it, and I was like, ah, whatever. And then Jonesy said something. Now I just got demotivated. It has demotivated me there, you. Here, hold what on a your second. Major all right, all right, all right. right here. Nice. What is your nice. major malfunction? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I got to get some, too. Yeah. It How is about time. This? Hey. Sugar, sugar, sugar. All right, so. $10 all right. chat. $10 super chat. <laughs> Holy <laughs> crap. Man, I really Oh, hey, Mike, you want to get motivated? Yes, you sir. actually play. The Marine Corps hymn that Chevy did it has like a country female voice to the halls of Montezuma. Oh my God, dude, no. I gotta find that. I, I will, I, but I gotta find it. Look, so she, Chevy, don't hold it against me, homie. Like I'm trying to get through this prezo. This is a really big deal because I'm hoping, honestly, I would really love it if Merb would get off his high horse. You know, I know he's a new lawyer. I and, and look. The fact that somebody who loves their country actually passed the bar, that says a lot to me. I, I don't want this guy as our enemy. I want her to be on our team. Okay. Let me get through this prezo really quick, guys, and then we'll go into it. So in Nevada, there's no act in furtherance required. So all I have to do is basically encourage or convince you to commit the crime of trespass. And if you engage in that crime of trespass, I can be charged with soliciting a trespass. In this case, it would be conspiracy to commit a trespass. And the person that I encouraged, even though there may have been an agreement, that person does not have to get charged. And that's just how it is in Nevada. And by the way, guys, I, I have associates in Nevada and probably 30 other states. I've been doing this for over 20 years now. That's where we can hold the match. Yeah, it's like, like I'd rather do a trial by battle with this guy if he doesn't want to have a a, a verbal debate. I mean, I've no, I have no problem with that. He looks like he's probably bigger than me. He says I'm a pip pipsqueak. You know, the fact that I've been in judo since I was six shouldn't be a problem for him, right? <laughs> shouldn't be any issue at all, I would imagine. Except for so, when he gets hit or twisted up like Gumby. Well, I, look honestly, guys, I'm not like Chili. I. I, I, I don't want to go there. I honestly would love it if we could get this guy on our team because I think that guys like him, I, I honestly, I looking at the way he looks with the beard and all that, I'm assuming Mennonite. I'm assuming somebody who loves their country. And Grizzly so, Adams did have a beard. I, I Grizzly Adams was one of my favorite shows. By the way, I don't know if you guys know about Grizzly Adams, but he, um, he, he actually had one of those umbrella things with a flame. And he drank that, and it lit his face on fire. And that's actually uh, why he stopped making Grizzly Adams uh, TV shows because he had like all these burn injuries, and it really messed him up. Yeah. Wow. No, yeah. That. And then yeah. Grizzly Adams didn't have a beard. Well, he didn't. <laughs> Man, I hope you show up tomorrow, dude. I would love to to meet you in person. By the way, I've never met BZ Watchdog in person. But all my Marine brothers, like, we're just so tight. And, and you'll never meet any any other branch of the military like the Marines. Because we don't care if you were an admin. We don't care if you were Motor T. 
if you if you earn that Eagle Globe and Anchor and Boot Camp, you're one of us. And Mike, by the way, I emailed you that link. What's that? I emailed you that link. Oh, Stan. Okay, copy that, sir. I got you. So I'm just, I'm just gonna keep on going through. It almost this. Sound, it almost sounded like Ryan AI country did. So man, you know I, Ryan I, does that. I got Ryan you, homie. That, uh, Ryan does that AI music as well. By the way, I got you. So yes, That's by the way, so. Know. So soliciting a trust. Okay. So I just want to like give you guys a clean slate. So I'm That's trying to talk to people about soliciting a trespass as you would find in, in American law schools. I'm assuming that um, Merb went to a U.S. law school. So basically exactly what they taught me, they taught him. And so that's all I was trying to teach. But hey, Mike, but then, I think I think the reason everybody I think everybody got things mixed up. You, you know, we were talking about a month and a half ago, where we were as us auditors were talking about cops soliciting a trespass. We meant as far as in, you know, having us trespassed and removed. And you had said that there is no law providing that cops can solicit a trespass. But then you found. A, a really not what we were talking about. Your mic's cut out, by the way. But oh. um, it, it wasn't like a, like what we were talking about in a situation about auditors being trespassed. You found a crime of a cop soliciting a trespass in a different uh, format, I guess you could say. Right. Can you hear me, guys? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, so basically it was the Watkins case, and it was the DPUB that a lot of auditors and cop watchers cite for the proposition that a cop can solicit a trespass. And uh, it's it's a DPUB, so it's not even a valid case. But beyond that, yeah, a cop can solicit a trespass, and so can you. And all soliciting a trespass w- would be is to to encourage someone to violate someone's property rights. That's all it is. So soliciting a trespass could be burglary, could be robbery, could be breaking and entering. That's all it is, guys. It's not a big deal. Could it's, be murder. Could well, well, assuming that it's soliciting it to go on someone's property to kill them. What I'm talking about is a property right, right? I mean, That's it's all almost it like it's almost like uh, everybody talked in the day about entrapment. Remember, everybody. Oh, yeah. that's entrapment. Yeah, kind you know of. Kind of. It's a little bit different because it's an inchoate crime. So solicitation requires no act in furtherance. It's just right. the any mere crime. Any crime can be solicited, whether it's elicited per the definition is That's a different fair. story. If you're encouraging someone to break the law, you're soliciting a crime. If you encourage someone to trespass, you're soliciting a trespass, which is a crime. Now, one of the videos this this guy, hopefully I can... So another video that he, <laughs> he put out, I mean, it's just really hilarious, guys. I mean, you got to you gotta understand something. I've been doing this for a long time, you know. So when I see a guy who brags about the fact that he just passed the bar and, the, and he tells me that I'm stupid, it, it definitely is something that's a problem for me. Man, everybody keeps telling me to go ahead and try to get that bar card, man. I mean, I don't know. Do I sound lawyerly? I mean, I think you're good enough, brother. Uh, well, when you see that video that comes out with 27 minutes of me schooling those cops, it sure sounded like it. Because oh. so, the only reason I sound so good is because cops are so dumb in Texas. Right, Ryan? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you're killing me right now. You're killing me, brother. He knows so, a few. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. Remember, he was a cop in Virginia. So this is the so oh. this is the other video. So oh, I, so the other night the other night I I, I did a video uh, thumbnail that said is is solicitation of a trespass subsumed under this section, and so I don't know like I don't I don't understand. So Merb says that he doesn't pay attention to me. He doesn't watch my channel. But within like two <laughs> seconds, within like two seconds of me putting up a thumbnail, <laughs> we get this. That's what that's what he phrased his last video. He is so concerned about trying to look right, trying to upstage a first year family law attorney who looks like this. I mean, what? Like, why are you trying to compete with me, bro? Like, 
look at me. Do I do I look anything special? Do I yeah. use a LARP as a Marine and show off my firearms on camera? You know? Well, I, by the way, um, the quick, prop- I, by the way, I'm always going to show off my firearms. And I want to also sh- <laughs> share something with you guys. What's wrong with guns? The, the, the reason why I'm sharing my firearms is because I was under arms and, and you cannot wear your camis indoors with a cover unless you're under arms. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, Mike, the way he's talking, he hates the Constitution. He don't like he don't like the First Amendment, even though he's abusing it now. He doesn't like the Second Amendment, obviously, because he doesn't like your firearms. I'm just wondering what, what other amendments he just uh doesn't like of the constitution he's he's you know what he's a frauditor lawyer we've got frauditor trolls he's a frauditor lawyer i i don't want to get that deep because i i I you're not saying it i'm saying it so it's all good well i'll be i'll be honest with you bro i believe that we should be collegial especially if he is if he is actually a lawyer which is hard for me to believe based upon the things that he says i wouldn't hire him unless i I was in west virginia but but Let's just keep listening to what he has to say, because because I want I want all of the people on his channel to understand, guys, you need to wake up, bro. How are his people going to understand? Look at him. Talk shit, dude. Anyway, so this dumbass Michael Elon puts out this video. I haven't watched the video. I don't really care. The title wait, wait, is wait. misleading. Hold on. Hold on. I haven't watched the video. I haven't even watched it. So I wait, have... where's, then where's he getting his valid source from? I'm going to go ahead and trash this guy, even though I don't have no fucking idea what he's talking about. Or foundation to trash. Right. Right. So, and by the way, apparently one of the people in his group is a, a Yale law graduate, AKA Kami Pinko, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, didn't I just see a bunch of those idiots with like pink hair on TV getting beat up by the police? It's ridiculous. Like if you want to know the law, study law under an attorney, who believes in the constitution, get the hell away from a law school, get as far away from a blue haired communist as you can. And so I just want to address this. I am a first year family law attorney out of California. I'm only licensed to practice in California. So, and so he's only licensed to practice law in California. Did you hear that? Did you guys hear that? Yep. So I'm only licensed to practice law in California. I'm pretty sure this guy is probably Pennsylvania Dutch. So he doesn't even know where the fuck he is. He probably needs to go to some AA meetings. I'm not sure. I'm just, I'm guessing. Let's just keep going. Michael Eline is not a first year family law attorney. He's been practicing law longer than I have. Uh, he primarily does personal injury. He has done some other things. He's, he's uh, the attorney of record on some uh, published court of appeals decisions. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so you guys heard that. I'm an attorney of record on some published court of appeal decisions. But now when you go and listen to him, he immediately tries to denigrate me and say, oh, some other attorney probably did that. I mean, guys, I was invited to extern for the California Court of Appeal. Less than a quarter of a percent of law students from ABA schools get that opportunity. And I had that opportunity. I just want you to like see how ridiculous this guy sounds. What's that? Did you take it? Of course. Okay, I was like, you said you were just offered. I'm probably the only. I'm probably the only extern who has ever clerked for the Court of Appeal who was on the California State Bar Law Office Study Program. And I'm not doing this to to brag, guys, but it's like the only Marine. And definitely the only Marine. (laughs) Definitely the only Marine. But I'm just saying, like. This this dude is just like like really guys talking out of his ass. He wrote a short little yellow book. He did give you some props. He's been a lawyer longer. He's got (laughs) published on record. I mean, well, but but according to him, the the published cases and one of them is actually a case that he's going to be facing pretty soon. Has to do with a slap anti slap appeal that I won, and this guy is encouraging the people on his channel to go to my business and try to, to destroy my law firm as opposed to just trying to debate me based upon the evidence that I've seen so far. I could be wrong. You don't, you don't hear me defaming him, right? You don't hear me saying he's a horrible lawyer that he didn't go to the right law school or he didn't, right. You don't hear me saying that, right. You hear me saying, 
I would like to work with this guy to help make America a better place. But yeah, instead, because that's what lawyers are supposed to do, right? Well, well, for me, I don't know what lawyer. My dad hated lawyers. I just I hate lawyers, lawyer. but they're supposed to look the, the whole point of a lawyer. And this is from a cop. We don't like yeah. I mean, I've known a couple lawyers I liked like I like you. Um, but <laughs> by and hold, the reason lawyers are around are so they can make sure everybody's cheated, treated the same. That's right. Right? Well, that is, yeah, I mean, from from the worst yeah. to the best, yeah. whether they're guilty or not, everybody's supposed to have the same trial in the United States of America. Right. So it's one of our founding ideals. And that that courtroom is a place of debate. And the fact that he won't come to do it, I just I don't know. And, man. And, and, look, and, and look, bro, I get it. He, he doesn't like chili. I get it. But I'm not chilly. I mean, I, I, you know, and, and, and look, bro, he made this other comment about. You're, you're just a cracker that goes with chili. Yeah, right. <laughs> he made this other comment, BZ, that, uh, that, oh, inactive Marine, right? Oh, it's inactive. How could you be inactive if you're this and that? Like, like basically he's convinced his whole audience that I never served in the Marines. So now I'm getting these like negative no reviews. Such thing as a retired Marine, like I. Right. I'm all getting all the, I'm getting these negative reviews online from all of his followers who are trying to attack my law practice. Which Dude, it's not I'm just followers. a partner. I'm not even. I don't. You know what I mean? I'm just a partner in a law practice, and they're attacking Mike, this law practice. Mike, they're thing. not. They're not his. They're not his followers. They're his cult members. Well, whatever they might be, these people are literally cult. trying to destroy my family because I represent a guy that he doesn't like, and it's just crazy. All I asked for was a debate. I even called him bro. I said, bro, come on and debate me. He doesn't want to do that. He wants to call me names. But let's just go through and we'll just take a look. And look, the only well, reason the I'm state, even having this. The it has a question for you, Mike. Oh, I can't even see that. Go ahead. Tell me. Oh, it says, uh, again, his followers, where is the evidence? This should be easy for a low-life attorney like you. A low-life attorney like me. Hold on, I'm trying to see. <laughs> How far up are you? Because that's the way he's up there. Oh, yeah, I see it. Yeah, his followers, where is the evidence? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I wouldn't pay attention to them because it's it's it's, it's probably him with, uh, uh, yeah. with uh, yeah, his, his buddies there. But um, so we'll just go through the whole nine yards. And again, you know, in a conspiracy, you know, it's all of his buddies and they're just constantly trying to trash uh, my law firm or a law firm that I work for, as opposed to just having a seasoned, reasonable debate with me, which is sort of embarrassed. I feel embarrassed for, for him. So we'll go ahead. Um, can you see this slide seven? See that? No. Nope. YouTube. Okay. Do you see this moving around? Negative Ghost Rider copy patterns full <laughs> i'm just trying to figure out a way to share the rest of the slideshow with you guys talk to me goose 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 where's the freaking slideshow there you Arr! so i'll try to do it one more time let me do a uh we'll do a stop share and then we'll do a new one add to stage you see that one yep yep all right so is that slide seven? You see that moving around? See that? Yes. Okay. All right. So basically what I was trying to say is, although I agree that there, that every state has their own solicitation laws, I agree with that. Every state has their own solicitation laws. Some of them have been subsumed by other laws, like Nevada. Nevada has been subsumed by conspiracy. They removed the section that has to do with an act in furtherance. Yeah, you have to have an agreement, but guess what? Nobody actually carries out the solicitation of a crime unless they formed an agreement. So in the video that I showed that he is trying to trash me about, uh, where these cops uh, were convinced a woman to go and kick down her boyfriend's front door. Uh, that would be a classic example of soliciting a trespass. The cops convinced this woman to go and kick down the front door. 
then, of course, all of his friends went ahead and said, oh, no, that's crazy. The cops have this and that, the right to do this. Guess what? If a law enforcement officer shows up at your house. I'm not answering the door. And there's a woman standing out front saying, I'm his ex-girlfriend. <laughs> the last thing that you do is convince her to kick down the fucking door. What you do is you say, go get a judge, get a, a court order. Guess what? Get a court order, guys. And then we can come and kick down the door for you. But instead, in the example that I showed, this woman... And correct me if I'm wrong, American Texan, was convinced to kick down a door by this female cop who didn't like the guy who lived there. Who knows what relationship the female cop had with this guy, right? But the bottom line is <coughs> convince this woman to kick down the dude's front door. Now, a lot of the uh, pro Merb guys are saying, oh, no, you know, you should have. The cops had the right to ask her and, and do like roadside justice. And so the main reason I had you on the channel tonight, brother, is so you could tell me how would you handle that situation? If a woman. Yeah, no, so that's, it's, it's usually a whole lot of, I'm sorry, ma'am. This is a civil problem. Do <laughs> not go in that house. And then I'm going to call my lieutenant or my sergeant. I'm going to be like, hey, you're going to get a call from this very angry woman because I told her it's a civil problem. And I told her to go to, to the sheriff's office. Right, it's a civil matter. I mean, so in here, now, if, it's, if it's the warrant, you want to know how I get the warrant or just how she gets in? Well, <laughs> <laughs> the warrant goes like this the warrant goes, hey, 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 Smokey, let me in. <laughs> we'll open it. I got you, man. <laughs> so, that's what I wanted to get for all, for all the audience who has sort of like that. You're just so focused on loyalty, which I appreciate, but, but blind faith is actually, a death, Mike, a death I got sentence. one, Mike, I got Go one ahead, for man. you. Ryan, Ryan would be like this, sir, can you step out? We have a warrant for your arrest. And then when they open the door, cops are allowed to lie. Cops oh no. Are, you know how many times I've told, Hey, we have a warrant or, or dude, when you, when you're a police officer in a small town, Hi, Mrs. Warren. Yeah, no, um, your son has a warrant, and I'm going to come by your house every day for the next week unless you tell him to get his butt up to PD. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, up to PD. Oh, yes, man. Yes, ma'am, over on Main Street. Thank you. Bye. Oh, man, Jiminy Christmas. So many times. So many times. Your moms will rat you out, every single one of you. Jiminy Christmas. That's crazy. <laughs> I promise you. Wow. So just real quick, guys, because I, I don't want to. We've already been on this for over an hour now, and I know that the ladies almost, especially are probably bored. Too. Too. But the bottom line is, in Nevada, there is no <clears throat> act in furtherance that's required. So in my opinion, as someone who's been practicing law for a long time and and as somebody who has associates who actually do practice law in Nevada, I'm pretty certain that the Nevada uh conspiracy uh, to commit a trespass will more than suffice for soliciting a trespass and that law enforcement officers definitely can be charged with that. There's no difference. Now, another thing that Merb said is that I'm trying to confuse people uh, with civil and criminal trespass. So one of the things I want to point out to y'all is that there's no such thing as soliciting a civil trespass. So I'm not what trying to confuse any civil trespass. I, I don't know what he's talking about, but probably needs to put down the alcohol and Merv start talking out of his Merv. Right. So there's talking about. Woo. But when you try and paint a fellow attorney who has a lot more experience than you in a false light and try to say that he was never a Marine, that he never went to law school, when when one of your own audience tells you, no, dude, you're wrong. He did go to law school. That tells me that you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, bro. You need to wake the fuck up, dude, because you're going to end up in a lot of trouble. And I'm not saying just for me, but like anybody, anything that you do in life, if you just go ahead and and are a reactive thinker, which is what Rockefeller wanted with the public education system. If you're a reactive thinker, you're going to end up in a lot of trouble. 
So trying to tell people that I was never a Marine or that I never went to law school when you're on tape clearly saying that is, is false light. And that's a problem. It's also negligent and intentional interference with business someone off in a debate. Uh, the other one would be that <clears throat> your own viewers know that I went to law school. Playing from desktop via so that, that should be a problem for you. you should, as a lawyer, you should be intelligent enough to be able to do your own legal research. Now, th there's, uh, there's no such thing as soliciting a civil trespass. So I don't know what you're talking about in your videos where you talk about civil trespass or I'm trying to confuse people. There's only one crime of trespass and it's that would be that would have to do with any of this conversation soliciting a criminal trespass. So I'm not talking about civil trespass. Now you could definitely sue uh, under 1983, maybe bring in a Monell claim for a civil trespass. <clears throat> Here's the issue that all of you people should be looking at, including all the people who worship this guy is when stronger and more powerful evidence was available when you made these defamatory, libelous, and slanderous statements about me, when you did that, Merb, um, you had within your possession stronger and more powerful evidence to show that everything you said was false. The ad hominem attacks are not lawyerly. This is something that definitely a first-year student would never do because you don't engage in ad hominem attacks against fellow lawyers. So I understand that you don't like the fact that I represent somebody that you don't like. I get that. Now, if, if you still think we, and by we, I mean mainly me, I'm going to go through this uh, video by... Michael, Wait, you're right. He who said he doesn't you? watch my channel, didn't hey, he? Hey, who's hey, and who's he think he is right now? William Shatner? Well, we will watch his video. Well, alcohol is a hell of a drug. Alien. 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 <laughs> and I became a world a world famous personal injury lawyer with no law degree by using my do okay, or hey, die hey, hey. attitude. Okay, so you guys heard that, right? He said, I have no law degree. So this is a guy who doesn't even know how to do basic research, right? Wait, can't you, instead of instead of suing him for defamation, can't you just have him disbarred for this? Well, I honestly, I mean, what he's saying by, by disparaging a fellow member of the bar uh, is, is definitely a violation of most of the ethical bar guidelines anywhere in this country. Um, I'm assuming he was a Pennsylvania guy. I, maybe they don't teach you basic legal ethics where he went to law school. But the good news is when you study law under a lawyer like I did, um, you learn that right away because you just don't trash talk uh, your fellow uh, lawyers. You, you just don't do that. It's just unacceptable. Here we go. To training and discipline. Was not in recon or MARSOC, just in 03. Uh, that was explained to me or explained not to me specifically, but generally by uh, Josh from Stone Vet, that that means that he was an infantryman who, but he got injured in his, uh, in school of infantry. So he never actually became an infantryman, had surgery and said, he's a rifleman. That's a basic rifleman, which every rifleman. Marine is. Which every yep. Marine is. So I was, I volunteered to be an O3, somebody who volunteered to serve my country. I and went he and, he and he volunteered to run his mouth on. I volunteered. I earned my Eagle Globe and Anchor in boot camp. Have you ever had a pissed off Marine on your ass? So the bottom line is, I earned my Eagle Globe and Anchor in boot camp. And I went through Marine combat training. I was the only series that actually. So I, I get it, but you know, like, like he, he can, he can try to denigrate my service uh, as a lawyer um, and try to say <laughs> that, well, you know, the fact that he's tried cases or he's had appeals, that doesn't really mean anything. That just means that some other lawyer did it for him. And you can see where he's going with this. And it's just, I, I kind of feel bad for the guy because I reached out to him with an olive branch to try and find a way to work something out with him to where we could try to help this country. Have you, tried, have you tried emailing him and being a bigger man and reaching out? 
I, well, I did reach out to him on his channel. Nah, because you can't do that because he doesn't watch your he doesn't watch your channel. He doesn't watch the sidebar. Well, yeah, he's gonna, next he's going to be bashing. Next he's be bashing honorably discharged. I don't Brown. know how you're inactive if you're honorably discharged. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, oh, you hear try that, to answer BZ? shorts in under one minute. Bigger question. Wait, than a, wait hold on a minute, me. guys. BZ, because yeah. okay, BZ is a force recon marine. And look, guys, I'm not saying I served in combat, any of that stuff. All right. Like I've even said, no stolen valor error. I'm just an O3. Well, I don't know how you can be inactive, right? The commandant of the Marine Corps said, if there's more in my Marine dad before he defines me. Can you believe this? Apple? Can you yeah. Believe this apple? He, he's still, he's stealing valor for his dad. How about that? Can you believe this shit? My dad died from Agent Orange from cancer. And I started a military veterans nonprofit trying to talk trash on me and my dad. The Corps defines me. What a douche. Standing on the shoulders of giants is what drives. Kind of, right, so you, kind of, you kind of get where it's going, right, guys? He doesn't like. He's got nobody at home, does he? I don't. He know. He lives. Man. He lives in his mom's basement, bro. Like I have to. I, I mean, it does look like there's stairs right there, but I'm. I'm just saying, like, I have to go away to have a moment alone, and people want me to come back. I don't just get to sit there and be a whatever. He sound. I mean. <laughs> Uh, that guy's not reading books for Amazon. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I think I think he's trying to I think he's trying to uh, read the AI chat that's feeding him the info. <laughs> I don't know, brothers. I don't know, brothers. But listen, we're gonna be in Houston, Texas tomorrow. Conroe, actually, and we're gonna have. Uh, Where at? Because I know the I know the deputy chief. In Conroe. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Tell Elliot you, to... you would, you bootlicking cop sucker. No, man. You know what, man? A lot of cops were jarheads. I have no issues. I'd love them to come to this thing tomorrow. Um, I, I know that there's a lot of cops who think just like me, like they're just they're they're just as angry as me that they're stuck in this system. So, um, I, I believe that there are a lot of law enforcement and peace officers who are kindred spirits who got. Do you know stuck why? Do you know why revolving. everywhere doesn't have cops right now? Because the ones Why? that could quit have, but the ones that can't quit that have no other opportunity, they're doing the best that they can. Hey, That's Ryan, right. That's right. Ryan. Them, some of them are just, know, you know. Oh, Ryan, I know one, Ryan, I know one place that doesn't have cops, Coffee City, because they fired all of them and disbanded them. <laughs> Man, I hate it when you two get on because BZ is it, like both of you guys are like the exact oh, opposite. Oh, oh. All right. Well, with that being said, make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Make sure to save because you never know when the thought police are going to take down this channel. And Merb, anytime you want to have an actual debate instead of trying to destroy my professional business, would love to do that. You should grow up, learn how to be mature, and take move out of your mom's that. basement. Yeah, <laughs> try to be, <laughs> try to be more mature and just you know, try to be like a, try to act like a lawyer. Semper Fi, do or die, guys. Talk to you soon. Hoorah. Hoorah. Yeah, you can't say that.